Hello, everybody. This is your boy, Drew Jeezy, and I am back when you guessed it. Another Power Ranger 90 Connection review. Today, I have Zeo Ranger 2 Yellow. So, yes, I did complete the whole Zeo team. If you see my last video, you see I did the review on the double pack of Zeo Ranger 1 Pink and Mighty Morphin Pink. Before I start the rest of this review, um, anybody who's watching this is new to the channel, Please hit the subscribe button. Please hit that bell for post notifications. Please hit thumbs up or thumbs down, whichever one you like. I greatly appreciate it. Please leave a comment. I read all the comments and I respond to everybody's comment because everybody comment could go a long way for my YouTube channel. But nonetheless, I am now talking about Zero Ranger 2 Yellow. And I must say once again, Hasbro does not disappoint with the box artwork. As it spins around, you see the Zero Ranger 2 helmet from the front to the side with the Power Ranger Zero at the top. You got the Power Ranger Lightning Collection Zero Ranger Yellow on the front. The figure looks good inside of the box. You turn it to the turn it to the side again. You have the helmet with the Lightning Collection, excuse me, team. Lightning Collection emblem there. And then you got it towards the back. We got her pose with her Zeo Chucks. I'm assuming that's what they are. I could be wrong. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think if I'm right or wrong about that. But nonetheless, man, this thing looks pretty good. Box looks good. Inside of the box, she looks good. But guess what? I know y'all want to see me take her out the box, leave all the accessories out. And of course, we're going to take a look at the details. All right, you guys, as you can see, I have taken all the accessories out of the box. And we're going to start with what I hate the most, the hands. As you can see, these are two hands. They look like they are posable hands. I, they're horrible. I, and, I, and I don't know why I have to waste their time putting these in. They're for posable Posable, I guess, only, but I don't really care about posing them without the weapons. I think the hands are horrible, and they are a lot smaller. Then, of course, you have the Zeo Blaster. Um, nothing fancy, just typical black, red, and white and gold paint. Uh, nothing too fancy. Um, on the side note, I do hope they make the Zeo Rangers in 1-6 scale, because I will be collecting those, too. Uh, if you haven't seen those other 1-6 scale videos, please check those out as well on my page. Okay, I am so tired of Hasbro recycling these weak lightning effects because this is weak so this is all y'all came up with was uh, a lightning effect for her zeal gun I, i'm i'm gonna i'm just gonna put this down i'm gonna put it down and just leave it be not gonna trip about that then of course you have the tiny the tiny scope um it's nice it, it it looks like her this is how her hair looked in the show um i do like it it's it's pretty cool so um, it does look like her for the most part, so we're not going to complain about that. Then, of course, you have the Zeo Baton, is what I'm going to call it. Once again, um, if you watched my last video, I'll call it that too. And if you feel like I'm doing it wrong, please comment down below and let me know what it's really called. But I think it's, I'm called the Zeo Baton. So that's what it looks like. It just got a sword shape. And then these. I'm going to assume these are called the Zeo Chucks. Uh, I could be wrong. Once again, if I am wrong, please leave a comment. Let me know what they're called. I greatly appreciate it. Um, they're pretty cool because they move around pretty good for the most part. I do like them. This nice little soft plastic, and it is two of them. So I'm, I am impressed with the um, Zero Ridge 2 Yellow compared to Zero Ridge 1 um, review. But if you guys haven't seen that, check that out as well. Uh, but enough about this stuff, you guys. I know you guys want to see the Zero Ridge 2 figure, and I'm going to get to that. So you guys stay tuned. And she's coming up next. All right, you guys, you can see I have Zero Ranger 2 yellow out of the box. First impressions, I love it. I love the way it looks. It's a bright yellow. I do like that it, it just goes with the whole entire figure. The yellow isn't blemished. is isn't like two different types of yellow. This one big yellow. And I must say, I'm impressed with it. As I put, bring it a little bit closer, she looks phenomenal. I do love the way she looks. Nothing on her is faded. Or anything like that. She looks good. That really good gloss of the helmet. Zero Ranger 2 emblem here. I think that's pretty hot. Uh, I think you go up here. You do have the arms with 90 degree bend. Um, let me see. Can I get her to bend? Okay. So apparently this. Okay. There you go. All right. So I got it to bend without breaking it. Thank God. Um, but yeah, apparently that right arm is a little stiff. It still feels a little weak. So I'm not going to play with it too much compared to. The, uh, okay, wait a minute. Okay, yeah, so the left arm is weaker than the right arm. So I'm not going to play with it too much. Um, but I can tell it's not as strong as the right arm. I hate that. Um, but, of course, you got the Zeo, Zeo Ranger 5 Morpha Belt. Pretty cool. You know, the baton goes here. The Zeo Blaster goes here. Uh, she does have thigh swivel, so it does spin. And then you have the double joint here in the legs. Once again, you guys, 
um, when you first get these figures. If you are an in-box figure collector, don't bother um, heeding this warning. But if you like to display your stuff outside of the box, I recommend you always take it out the box at least once and try to break that plastic so it is used to bend because this plastic is hard and it's a little tough and you gotta be really, really gentle as you can see when it comes to this so that way you won't break it at all because once you break it, you're not putting that back in and you're gonna spend another $25 on another figure, whichever one you broke. But nonetheless, um, yeah, it just has to get broken in. Um, good ankle movement here. The same thing goes for the other one as well. Once again, like I say, they are just really, really stiff after being in the box for so long. I don't understand why it's that. But yeah, my right one is a little more stiffer than my left one. Um, that's just kind of bothers me a little bit. I mean, but overall, like I say, I love the figure, the way it looks. I think she's pretty dope. I do have the whole ZO team and also the arms here. They do go up to the, go all the way up, 90 degree vertical for the most part. Uh, sorry about this about the focus you guys I apologize do have the the pivot here in the chest area in here uh, full 360 motion with the head because the head does pop off uh, but nonetheless like I say these are 24.99 figures you guys I'm not gonna complain too much but also I feel like they could be built a lot better than what they're building them as but you know it is what it is uh, $24.99, you guys. $24.99. Let me refocus real quick. $24.99, so I guess I can't complain. Um, so, uh, my rating for the Yellow Ranger, 8 out of 10. Uh, for some reason, the girl mode for this 90 degree bend, it's like a defect for some particular reason because the guys, none of the guy figures don't have that problem. It's the girl figures that had that problem, and I'm trying to understand why that right side in particular is always the weak side. And I'm not sure what that's about, but like I said, you guys, when you get these figures, if you are a out-of-box collector, which means you open up the box and you put them up in the display case, at least break them in, especially 112 scale. 16 scale, they're built to do that type of stuff, so you don't have that problem. But 112 or 6-inch figures, I definitely recommend you guys break them in because Lord have mercy if you get one and then it's like, oh man, a piece messed up, and it's like years later when they don't circulate them anymore, you're going to be big blue. And if you try to get another one, you're going to pay top dollar for it. Um, but my rating, once again, is an 8 out of 10 when it comes to the Yellow Ranger figure. I am going to do a pose. Well, I'm going to do a scene where you see the whole team standing there. I'm not going to do everybody with their weapons. Only because Hasbro decided to make the cog, and they put the Blue Ranger's weapons in the cog figure. So they make you buy a whole $30 figure for the weapons. What they could have did was the same thing they did with Dino Thunder White when the helmet was messed up. You know, just how you had send them an email with the UPC code and show a picture you got the, the figure, and then they would just mail you the replaceable helmet. That's what they should have did with ZO Blue. They should have just asked for that, and then they could have just mailed us the weapon instead of us buying a whole new COD figure. Now, if you guys are collecting the COD, then I guess it's no harm, no foul, because you want the COD figure, and they come with those. As for me, I was on the fence. I don't want the COD figure, but I know I have to get it. Only because his weapons are in there. If there was another way around that, I would definitely take the other route. But since I can't do that, I have to go this route. But nonetheless, it's just another piece of the collection. And that is what it is. What it is. Um, once again, thank you guys for watching the video. To my current subscribers, thank you for rocking with me. I greatly appreciate it. You guys have rocked with me since the beginning. And I greatly appreciate it. To my new subscribers, once again, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell for all post notifications. Hit the thumbs up or thumbs down. Leave comments. I read all the comments. I thank you guys for your support and your continued support if you decide to subscribe to this channel. I'm trying to pursue a dream, and you guys are going to help me, uh, you know, get to that dream one day. And I'm going to bring you guys with me through everything. Um, shout out to my other pages that I have. I also have a Facebook page where I have a bunch of stuff on there from my collection. Not just Power Rangers. I got Marvel, uh, Ronin Warriors, because I'm a 90s kid, of course. Uh, I got some other stuff coming in. I'm not going to tell you guys, but it's a lot of stuff coming in soon. Uh, DC, anime, it's a lot. But look out for my Facebook page, Jujizy Collectibles. Look out for my Instagram page, Jujizy Collectibles. Look out for my TikTok page, Jujizy Collectibles. So like I say, I'm trying to get all over the mainstream, guys. Once again, I greatly appreciate you guys watching this video. I'm going to give you some B-roll footage with the Yellow Ranger, with the whole team. It's one, and I just think it's pretty dope, man. But uh, shout out to my YouTube inspirations, like I always do. Tall Guy Car Reviews, Mr. Organic. C John 32s, um, I mean the Hellcat, 
like with Corey, man, I just wanted to meet them guys one day and I hope I can do what they do and go further beyond what they already paved the way for other YouTubers to do, man. So, I, you know, I just, I'm just trying to pursue a dream. And you guys, if you put, you put your work and you put the grind into it, bro, or ladies, you can accomplish anything in life. And I really believe in that. And that's what I'm doing what I'm doing now. Um, invest in yourself. That's what Mr. Organic said. Invest in yourself because nobody will invest in you but you. But that's the end of this video, you guys. Thank you for watching. And this is my slogan. It goes a little something like this. This is your boy, Drew Jeezy. Competition is always easy. You guys be safe. You guys be blessed. Until next time, you guys, I am out. They wanna say they hate, but they know it's cap I ain't playing no games, I just do that's fact And I don't feel no shame, it's a mood you lack I go crazy, nah bitch I ain't lazy Track after track, I work on this shit daily Pass me the jack, right as fuel got me hazy About to unpack all these shit I've been chasing I've got visions in my head Like memories after death To be a legend instead Of something you can forget I'm living up every breath I'd rather leave than be led I'll fill the seats as I spread with every word that I've said